YouTube family, what is popping today? I don't know where you are, but here in Buffalo, New York, it is a scorcher. And sis is not turning on no oven today. So I am here to show you guys how I do my quick and easy chicken salad sub. So here I have some canned chicken from... Sam's Club. This is just chicken breast in the can. So I opened up about four of these bad boys. I just took my hands and kind of shredded it, you know, broke it apart because I didn't want any um, thick lumps. And I also have my veggies here already diced. I am going to add in some white onion, scallion, and also some celery. And we have, of course, the mayo of your choice. I have mayonnaise here, and I also have some Miracle Whip because I like to use both for my salads. I also have some Dijon mustard that I'm gonna be adding in. And of course I have my seasonings because y'all know how I feel about flavor. So I got my black pepper. I have some garlic powder. I have some of this Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic, which is so good. You must try it. I forgot where I got that from. I think I just got it from my local grocery shop. I think just I just got that from Tops. I have some um, lemon pepper. And I also am going to use some adobo. And that is about it. And of course you are going to need your sub rolls. And I have the best sub rolls in town. Castanos right there. And we're just going to do some small subs today. We're not going to do a large lot. We're just going to do, I think these are like six or eight inches. So. We are definitely about to get it popping with these subs, y'all. Let me get situated and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm talking about let me get situated. I'm just in the back trying to fry bacon because, yes, we are putting bacon on these subs. So here, like I told you earlier, I have my chicken... And I'm going to make a lot. I'm making a lot of salad. I use four cans because I want this to uh, last for the rest of the week. Something like just to munch on or eat on for the rest of the week. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my um, veggies in that I showed you earlier. Here is the white onion. And this is just a half, a half of a white onion. This is about three about three or four um, scallions or green onion and this was about two and a half stalks of celery and I like my veggies like not finely diced but um, diced real small because I don't like to bite into uh, the chunkiness when I'm eating like tuna salad or chicken salad so I'm just going to incorporate this in really quick before I start adding in my wet ingredients. Hope everyone is doing fabulous out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like I always say, if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And please like, comment, and share. And guys, do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I post. Also, um, feel free to leave a comment if it is something that you guys would like to see recipe-wise. Um, please let me know. I'll be happy to try it out. So, now we have that all nice and incorporated. And in there and making a mess at the same time. It's all good in the hood. Okay, so now let's start adding our wet ingredients. I'm going to start with some mayo. Let me check my bacon, y'all. Hold on. Because we don't want no burnt bacon. We do not want no 
want no burnt bacon. We don't do burnt bacon, dude. Okay. So let me stir this in and see how creamy it's gonna make it. Simple, 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 uh, quick recipe, especially for a nice hot summer day. You can eat it with crackers, you can eat it on a sandwich, you can eat it by yourself. Okay. So of course I'm gonna go in with gonna add some Miracle Whip now because I like the sweetness of the Miracle Whip I like the flavor that it uh gives my salads I also do the same thing with tuna fish also so let's go ahead and add in our Miracle Whip it was brand new so I had to open it y'all my bad so I'm gonna just add a little tad of that and let's see where we're at now. Oh, this might do it. Let me see. Stir it all up. Get everything at the bottom. Might even can use some more. That nice and stirred up. So refreshing, y'all. Oh, y'all. Take a bacon break. Check your bacon. Bacon is looking good. Bacon is looking great. Great, great, great. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. I should have had my bacon done. I know y'all like that girl should have had her bacon done before she just started the video. Listen, y'all, I'm multitasking, okay? I'm multitasking. Okay, this is looking pretty good. You know, we don't want it all dry. We want a nice, juicy salad. But this is looking pretty good. So now let me go ahead and add in the rest of my ingredients. Bruh, tell me why I just, this is the Dijon mustard jar that I'm adding in. Just a little bit, give it that nice twang. But why I open it, and why I open it and it exploded over my hand though. The disrespect of it all. Let me get a napkin and wow. Wobbling, 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 wobbling. Mustard explosion. Okay, now that we have cleaned up our mustard explosion, let's go ahead and start adding some flavor into our salad. We got some Creole. Just a dash. Y'all know I don't have exact measurements because I just go by eye. Black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper in my in my salads. We got the Himalayan pink salt and garlic. The stuff is bomb. That's gonna really make it hit right there. We got some garlic powder. Garlic powder. We got some lemon pep for your step. A little bit of lemon pepper. And lastly, we got some adobo. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Okay, let's stir it up. We're going to stir it up, y'all. And then we're going to give it a taste. Because we got to make sure our seasonings is hitting. You jot out what I mean? You feel me? Do you feel me? Or do you feel me? Do you hear me knocking? Let me in. Okay, let me see. Let's see. Let's just see. Gotta get it at. Man, y'all, I'm so mad. I'm sitting here talking, and my disrespectful camera cut me off. 
and I'm sitting there just talking to y'all. So let me tell y'all what y'all missed. So when I left off, I was giving my chicken salad a nice stir, and all I was saying is get dig to the bottom, flip that over, and give all your salad some love. Make sure you get that all mixed up nice and well. And then I gave it a taste and I felt like I needed a little bit more seasoning so what I did is went back in with some of the Himalayan salt, um, some Tony Saturies, I went back in with some of that and I went back in with some black pepper and I added some more mustard and um, some more mayo. So that's what happened before my camera straight up like this to me. Um, so y'all really didn't miss much. So my chicken salad is like exactly where I wanted the taste, the consistency. It's not dry. It's not too sloppy and wet. It's perfectly seasoned. It's just good. Get a cracker, eat it just like this. But we gonna put this on a sandwich tonight. Sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich tonight. A sa sandwich. Let me stop playing. Okay. So y'all. Let me gather my sandwich things and I will be back to show you guys how I build the bonus chicken salad sandwich with bacon, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. Let's get to building our sandwich. So, we have a beautiful toasted bun here. Hope you guys can see it. Beautiful toasted bun. I decided to make a big boy for y'all. I ain't even gonna make a little one. I'm gonna make a big joint for y'all. So easy peasy, time to layer. So let's get on our beautiful chicken salad. Bada bean. Bada bean. Big boy. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a chicken salad. So, yeah. That look about good. Now we're going to take our delicious thick cut bacon, y'all. Beautifully fried, thick cut bacon. And we are going to just layer that two up here and two right here oh this story about to be crazy now we gonna take our white American cheese is the best way to go with subs it's just plain white sliced American cheese and what I'm gonna do is layer that on just like this just like that perfect now what I'm going to do is take this over to the microwave and I'm just going to get that cheese melted really quick and I'll be back because I want my cheese nice and melted. Be back y'all. Alright YouTube fam, I am back and we have our cheese nice and melty. So let's finish building. Okay. So now let's lay on some beautiful tomatoes. I hope y'all got a good view, which y'all don't. Here. Okay. Let's lay on some beautiful tomato. little bit of submarine oil. You can make your own, get your get your vinegar right on, get your vinegar and your oil and do what you do. But we doing it this way. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, black pepper, 
season up those vegetables that we put on there. Okay, now we are just going to close this up. Just like that, take that off. It's the easiest thing to do. Press that down a little bit. And y'all, I'm about to plate this bad boy up and show y'all the finished product up close. Okay, y'all, finished product. Chicken Salad Club Sub. You have a beautiful chicken salad with some nice thick cut bacon on a toasted sub roll with some nice melted cheese. Great light dinner for a hot summer day. Paired it with some nice refreshing pickles. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And if you are not subscribed, guys, please subscribe. I love you all. And everybody, stay safe and stay blessed.